What's good, everybody? Welcome back to The Producer's Life. I'm your man, Big Boy Tracks. Today, we will be continuing my Jodeci series. But for this Jodeci beat, I want to focus more in the mid-90s, around 95, 96. So the drums are definitely going to be much different from the early 90s, which I did in the last Jodeci beat. You're going to notice in the early 90s, the drums still were kind of borderline 80s, you know, with the heavy reverb and the snare. So when we do the drums for this beat, it's going to be, like I said, more in the mid-90s. I made sure I studied a lot of Devontae tracks that he did for Jodeci and tracks that he also produced for other artists. I want y'all to sit back and relax and enjoy this beat maker video. Let's go. You know, in the mid-90s, when Devontae was doing a lot of Jodeci's beats, I noticed that he had this guitar wah-wah that he loved to use in a lot of his beats. And that's what I'm about to go ahead and add in, using my actual guitar this time, because it's not like actually getting a real authentic live wah-wah guitar in there. So that's what we're about to do right now. So let's go ahead and get this hooked up and record it. Let's go. <music> Sound good, man. Next, we add in a synthesized sub bass, kind of like some 90s, 80s type of bass line. I can also use an electric type of bass, will go good with this beat, I think, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a synthesized bass. So let's go ahead and record that in there. Now, something else I noticed in Devontae Beats, he liked to use a sign type of lead. One track in particular that I noticed he used it heavily on, which was a track he produced for Usher when Usher was 15 called Can You Get With It? And if you listen to that track, see how the track heavily, you know, depended on that sign lead in there. So that's what I'm gonna use in this beat to kind of give it that same type of vibe. So let's go ahead and record that in there. So now I want to go ahead and layer this a little bit more to thicken it up. I already got an acoustic piano. Now I want to layer this track with the electric piano just to add some more warmth to this beat. So let's go ahead and do that.
just so y'all can hear what it sound like, because I know it's kind of a little hard to hear in the mix. So I already got a lead in there and I'm about to add like this pad to kind of just kind of follow suit with it. Kind of like, I don't know, like ghost trailing it, like a shadow almost. The notes are gonna be very, very similar, but not exactly hitting the same spots, you know what I mean? I'm gonna show y'all what I mean, but you're gonna hear it. The melody will be very close with the sign lead that I already got in there. But uh, like I said, it's not gonna be just quite exact. So let's go ahead and record that. <laughs> Now, as I kind of demonstrated in my last Joda CB, this instrument is going to be a synth and I'm going to be kind of like playing around with the pitch band. Um, so that's what I'm about to record in there now. So let's hop into it. So to top this beat off, I'm gonna add in, as y'all can probably guess it, a bell, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna top it off with a bell. And uh, similar to the lead I just put in there, it's not gonna be so much in the forefront. So let's go ahead and record that in there. Now, one of Javante Swain's signatures was using the talk box. I'm not gonna be using my talk box live this time. Instead, I'm gonna be using some chops that I got that Devonte Swain signature sound. So let's go ahead and do that real quick.
producer life family that wraps up the beat making video i hope y'all enjoyed this video i think the beat came out solid i really tried to focus on the drums this time around you know using a reverse snare which was a signature of Devonte swings in the mid 90s i try to make sure i get the groove and the swing the way he used it on his beats if you go back and listen to the track he did for usher car can you get with it the drums are super close to that because that's what I kind of based this track on. And also the drums on uh, Jodeci's Love You For Life. I wanted to build the beat around that type of vibe. So if y'all enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, give it a thumbs up and do all that good stuff. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do because I will be coming back with another beat making video very soon. I want to thank everybody for kicking it with your man Big Boy Tracks right here at The Producer's Life. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.